just in time. God, hey, you got a sec? Oh. Oh. Cover me! I'm going out to help! Come on in. You're not interrupting anything. Glad you're on our side. Oh. Thanks, man. Hey, hey Deb. Need a word. Got a sec? <laughs> Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet-ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send-off to disco heaven, man. You want to help? We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I don't know, whatever it is you got, let's just burn this mother down. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno, burn! One hour later... Two hours later... Three hours later... Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards! Six hours later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, boo hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. Adrenochrome to the bait mixture, but the problem is, I'm staring at a full vial 
right now. Maybe I didn't put it in? No idea how that's might affect the results. As long as you haven't put the bait down yet, we can re-examine our plan. Let me think about this for a second. Doctor, and I'm here to ask you one question and one question only. Explosions! That's weird. Huh? Oh no. what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. I think this story would be better told at night. No! Man, it's gotta be during the day. The audience has to actually see the environment. This whole movie is a message on the environment. But the darkness at night is more ominous. I want it to be set during the day. Night. Day. Night. I'm gonna just have to put my foot down. This whole movie takes place over the course of one day. Got it? That is it. Fine. And then we cross paths with a zombie bear. I'm not surprised by that. It's supposed to be a surprise. And by now in the film, it's night. Ah, why? It's foreshadowing impending doom. You want doom? How about adding a fucking blood dragon here to fuck them the fuck up? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Blood Dragon 3 will be a masterpiece! Seriously, it has to be. I can't go back to working on shit like Far Cry. I'd rather put my balls in a vice and listen to everyone with their fucking opinions about world building and player motivation and believability. Oh, I'll kill myself, I swear to fucking God. Oh, and I wasn't kidding before. Close set, get the fuck out of here. 